Okay, guys, in this video, I want to talk to you about how to write repeating decimals as fractions. It's a pretty simple process, but it takes several steps, so just be careful and follow along as we do this. So we want to write 0 0.6 repeating. Notice the bar above it. That means the 6 continuously repeats and never ends. We want to write that as a fraction in simplest form. So let's say um, 0 0.6 with a little bar. That means 0 0.66666 continuously repeating. Let's say that n equals 0 0.6666 repeating. OK, if I multiply that by 10, what that does is that moves the decimal over to the right one decimal place. So that would be 6.6666. And since it's repeating and never ends, even if I move the decimal place over one point, you're still going to have an infinite number of sixes to the right of it repeating. OK, now here's here's what's important. You subtract n. Now, when you subtract n, remember n was equal to 0.66. So you're actually just subtracting the repeating part. OK, now 10n minus n is 9n. And 6.666 repeating minus the 0.6 repeating part just gives you 6. Now, solve for n. n equals 6 ninths. That's the fractional form. Now, you want to put it in simplest form. And so 6 and 9 both have a factor of 3. So this is 2 thirds. And you could check that on a calculator. 2 thirds, if you divide it out on a calculator, is 0.6 repeating. And you might have already known that. But you can do the same process with repeating num decimals that repeat that you don't know off by heart like that. Here's another one. Let's write 0.27 as a fraction. Notice that 0 0.27 0.27 with a bar over it means the 0.27 the 0.27 repeats so 0.27 27 27 now here is how we can apply this to do to do this with any number you want to multiply not by 10 here but by 100 because there are two digits actually i'm getting a little bit ahead of myself First, we have to say that n is the decimal, so 0 0.272727, and dot, dot, dot to indicate it replete, repeats. Now, you have to multiply by a, a multiple of 10 that will get you enough of the decimals to move over to capture the whole repeating part. In other words, if I just multiply by 10 here, I'm going to get um, 2.7272, and I didn't capture the whole repeating part. I have to multiply by 100 because that's going to scooch the decimal over two places. And then you get 27.272727 and so forth. OK, so the principle is if there were three decimal places that repeated, you'd have to multiply by 1,000. If there were four decimal places that repeated, you'd have to multiply by 10,000 and so forth and so on. So you can really do this with any amount of digits that repeat. Then again, you just subtract n. So minus the repeating part. And then you get 99n equals 27, divide by the 99. Now I picked ones in which the fraction that you get ends up not being in simplest form. But if it already is in simplest form, then you're done. You don't have to go any further. But 29, 27 99ths each has a factor of 9. So this is be 3 elevenths. And again, you could check. Type 3 elevenths into your calculator, and you get 0 0.2727, 27, and so forth and so on. All right, guys, that's how to write repeating decimals as fractions. Hope that's helpful to you. Take care.